Okay, hi everyone, uh, Daryl here. Uh, this is lesson 12 in my YouTube series, Investing 101. And today we'll be talking about fixtures and fittings in relation to a property. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so uh, what are fixtures? So the definition of fixtures, uh, fixtures are things that are fixed or attached to the land, building, or flat, and are immovable. So the examples are taps, window frames, towels, wallpaper, toilet bowls, wash basins, built-in cabinets. So these are fixtures, things that are fixed to the property. Okay, so things that are fixed to the property, they're called fixtures. Okay, and uh, so what are fittings? So the feature of fittings, fittings are things that are loosely attached to the property. So for example, paintings that are hung on the wall, curtains, or wall-mounted TV. Okay. So how do you determine whether an item is a fixture or fitting? So the degree of attachment to the property. So generally, right, if an item that is attached cannot be removed without damaging the item or the property, then it is a fixture. So for example, if you have built-in cabinets, then you want to remove the built-in cabinet. But in removing the built-in cabinet, right, uh, when you remove the built-in cabinet, you will see that uh, there are screws that help the built-in cabinet to the wall. Then there is actually a, a line of silicon that goes uh, that attaches the the uh, cabinet to the wall the it, it closes the gap so when you take it out right uh, you can see this silicon silicon uh, on the wall so when you remove something and then that right it leaves holes or damages to the wall or to the item right then most probably that is a fixture and when you remove the building cabinet, right, you cannot take the building cabinet, then uh, fit it snugly in another property. It's, it's quite difficult. Of course, if the dimensions are the same, then possible. Okay, then next is the purpose of attachment. So whether it is for enjoyment of the item or whether it is essential to the use of the property. So for example, right, uh, wall-mounted TVs versus roof tiles. Like wall-mounted TV, right, even though it is fixed to the wall but then the because the TV mount is fixed to the wall but the TV can be removed so essentially right the wall mount is the fixture but the TV right is a fitting so the TV actually the owner if let's say the the seller of the property sells he actually can remove the TV he uh, have to leave the wall mount and but roof tiles are a little bit uh, different so if you go to a landed property you know that roof tiles they are actually stacked uh, one after another especially is those uh like um those brown color uh clay tiles so when you remove right you will not damage the tiles next to it but the thing is that uh, even though you remove and then you don't really damage uh the the tiles next to it you cannot remove one or two tiles because when you remove one or two tiles right rain will go in. So it's essential for the use of the property. So these roof tiles you cannot take away. These are considered fittings as well. Okay. So uh, for avoidance of doubt, there should always be an inventory list. So when you purchase a private property or you purchase a landed property, fixtures normally is uh, given together with the property. Let me sold together with the property. But in certain cases, right, uh, the buyer may request that the seller uh, leave certain things behind. Like for certain landed properties, there are you know you need to get like a custom made or certain type of dining table. Like it's maybe it's very hard to find a, a twelve seater dining table. So there's a twelve seater dining table inside. So the buyer may tell the the seller, I want to buy I want to buy a property, but I would like you to include the dining table in the purchase price of the property as well. So that uh, all the fittings will go inside the inventory list, but uh, sorry, all the fixtures will go inside the inventory list, but this one particular fitting, which is the dining table, uh, when the seller moves the table and the chairs together, right, when he moves out of the house, there will not be any damage to the property. Okay, and it's easily movable. But the thing is that because the buyer requests for it right then this fitting has to be inside the inventory list as well so whenever you you whenever you uh, buy a property please make sure that 
there is an inventory list uh, for avoidance of doubt. If you're not very sure, then get your agent to do a proper inventory list. If you want to, if you don't mind and you want to renovate the whole house, uh, then if you don't need an inventory list, uh, you can do away with it. But for avoidance of doubt, there should be an inventory list. Okay, so that's all for this uh, lesson. Uh, see you at the next video.